so now it's at uh, 75. I wasn't sure which. Uh, it's been a while since I switched to course. Um, so I'm gonna grind a little bit. Like normal. I think the bellows gets out a lot of fines. So you can hear it sounds like the burrs or something obstructing the burrs. Um, didn't make that sound earlier. Oh, now it's gone. So, oh, yeah, that might be it. So if I try going finer, it's gonna be hard with one hand. Let's see if we could do that where it's. Yeah, so hear that. So, I don't want to force it, it feels like the birds are touching already. So instead, what we're going to do is pump this really hard, try going slowly, okay, so nothing, nothing changed. So instead, we're going to go way coarse, now we're going to pump, usually you can see something come out and you can usually hear it, now when I go fine, oh, got a little more, so, try again. It hard. Sometimes you gotta go really coarse, like it doesn't matter. You can go, just remember you went all the way around. Pump that. Oh, oh that's the, uh, didn't break it. That's just the 60 second uh, timer. So, so now, we're gonna go back. Yeah, so now we cleaned it out. And what was my grind setting? It was like 15. So now we're back at espresso and we're good to go. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to switch between coarse ground and uh, back to espresso. Uh, I did a poll on Facebook and about 50% of people who switch brew methods like that, uh, they said they had that issue. So, at first I was actually opening this whole thing up and cleaning off the burrs and trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Um, but. You don't have to open it up. It's easier just, you know, go super coarse so that the burrs are, you know, they have a wider gap. Then you can blow it out, preferably while it's running. This time it took two tries. Usually you get it on the first try. Just pump it hard, clear out the obstruction, and then you should be able to slowly get back to your espresso point with, uh, without any problems. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the burrs aren't actually touching. I was concerned that if there is a particle lodged in there, somewhere it could tilt the burrs and throw off the alignment and then maybe they are actually touching but uh, most people say it is actually just the uh, coffee getting obstructed somewhere um, this guy in the manual p64 um, it actually mentions that could happen uh, and it mentions just you know there's no bellows on this but you can kind of go like that tap it and you get a little you know 0.5 of a gram probably at most out um, so yeah, it might suffer from the same issue. I've only, uh, I gotta experiment more with uh, switching brew methods on this guy and see if that is a problem. Um, but even if it is the same, hopefully it's not actually burrs touching because that is not ideal. So yeah, that's my fix. Hopefully that's helpful for someone. Uh, enjoy.